Good day guys, it's Peter and Oni is filming behind the camera together we are two hungry diners. Oh guys, today is such a beautiful day. It is the 28th of October 2020 and this is the first day where Victoria can finally enjoy a little bit of freedom and this is our first day where retails and restaurant can open as well. But today, we are in this park, which is close to our apartment, and we are going to show you guys five fast food chain from Australia that you should absolutely try if you are travel to this beautiful country. So, let's check them out. Our first one here is called Grill. And we have reviewed grill before in one of our video, which is the top five Australian food that you have to try. And today we also ordered the same thing. We get the Mighty Melbourne, which is the menu that you can only find in Melbourne. Well, the store, the first grill store is actually here in, in the suburb where we live. So, and right now they are growing and from this humble beginning, they are really really like massive right now this chain is loved by a lot of australian you know um, and they are known for like healthy burger as well look at this one guys Ooh, fast food in australia is a little bit different than maybe some of the fast food in the us um, in a sense that they are not really like a junk food but they are like more healthier version of the fast food so yeah if you are in australia guys don't go for mcdonald's go for a burger from grill and they are like really amazing this is the mighty melbourne guys and inside of it we have the beef patty we have the beetroot we have the bacon we have the fried egg as well along with tomatoes and lettuce honestly guys i cannot fault this burger from grill they are really really amazing the patty um, the fried egg the bacon everything all together is really really amazing and we also ordered the zucchini chips and this is like um, like the healthier version of chips and really really amazing I mean if you like looking for something healthier then this is perfect like everything is so crunchy you know I can I can a lot guys this is the next item this one Igomes yes you have might heard of this before in our channel because we mentioned it uh, about couple months ago during the lockdown we ordered Guzman and Gomez it's one of my favorite Australian fast food to get here in Australia of course and this is Mexican food by the way they founded this uh, fast food chain um, around 10 years ago in Sydney Australia and yeah I think this is one of the best Mexican uh, fast food you can get in Australia it's it's fresh it's kind of healthier than Taco Bell <laughs> the competitor here uh, yeah I I prefer this uh, this fast food chain compared to Taco Bell of course if you haven't checked out the video make sure you check it out and today I got this burrito burrito beef and yeah it's very classic it's one of their best sellers among with the tacos nachos but this classic burrito is always a win for me let's try it out Hmm. Ah, I fall in love with my first bite. So good! And I got this uh, with slow cooked beef. It's so tender, melt in your mouth. Ooh, really nice. I like the rice, it's quite flavorful. And yeah, let's get a second bite, right? So inside the wrap, they have this um, black bean, tomato, a thin parsley. Parsley or the other one, coriander, and the pool beef, and of course the rice. Oh, they also have a new menu here, which is the Cali, as in California, the Cali burrito. And I've tested that before, so good. So instead of rice, they put the chips or the fries. Oh, that was really amazing. But today, we are getting the standard burrito. Never go wrong with their burrito, so good. And if you think this is not flavorful enough, you can always for extra sauce, which is free, complimentary. So I've got, uh, for today, I've got this jalapeno sauce. This is the, I think the mildest sauce they have. They also have habanero. Habanero, yeah. 
and the chipotle sauce, which is the medium one. I like the jalapeno. The jalapeno sauce is just enough spiciness for me. So good. Another day, another picnic at the park. But today, the weather is not too friendly. But regardless of the weather, we are still continuing our Australian fast food. And this is the next item, noodle box. This is basically our Chinese fast food, guys. The name is noodle box. Of course, we have to eat the noodles. So what we order here is the combination noodle, the small size. Packaging is really cute. Let me open it up first, the box. It's like very condensed into one small box. This is the combination noodle. It's really compact, like they condense it into one small box. Uh, we've got the chicken, uh, prawn, beef, um, also the char siu. I think they are using the egg noodles here. And also they've got uh, veggies in here, like mix of veggies. Looks good, smells good, although the weather is kind of cold <laughs> today. But yes, let's try this noodle. Mmm, super satisfying. Mm. One thing I noticed from this fast food chain is they use fresh ingredients, so all the veggies are still crunchy and fresh, as well as the seafood and the meat still really fresh and juicy. So I feel like this is a very healthy kind of you know fast food and fresh. Definitely give this a try guys, so if you cannot find a local Chinese food around, open around late night, like noodle box, so this is going to satisfy your crave. <laughs> Price is also not too bad, still affordable, $12 for a small box. If you are to pour this into a real plate or a real bowl, it's actually really really generous in size, so not too bad, price is affordable. arrived here at this park where we have this picnic and this is cross pizza this is a local pizza uh, fast food chain here in Australia uh, founded in Australia and we much much prefer this pizza brand uh, compared to the US brands like Domino's or Pizza Hut because it tastes delicious and probably close to the authentic Italian pizza so this is 1988 margarita this is a genuine margarita with authentic buffalo mozzarella and cherry tomatoes on a tomato base and garnished with fresh basil cracked pepper and sea salt so let's have a slice mm. yeah it's so good guys i mean the tomato is really rich and the cherry tomatoes also fresh and i like the addition of basil on top and the buffalo cheese the u.s chains normally they don't put buffalo cheese because it's kind of like more expensive right like they use premium ingredients here top quality even it's fast food but still top quality fresh ingredients i like it mm. Mm. that buffalo cheese so delicious mm. That was the amazing margarita pizza, but crust also offer kind of like a fusion uh, flavor pizza. And I know this is not for Italian people, you know, you might scream at this kind of pizza, but they are like really amazing. And we have ordered another one here. This is the Peking Duck Pizza. Wow, this is like a marinated duck breast uh, topped with scallion, you know, um, hoisin sauce and sesame seed as well. And wow, it, it, it looks very colorful and amazing and it's very inviting as well. And on the side, they also provide this kind of like a slaw here, which is like a cucumber, um, parsley kind of slaw here for the toppings. Okay, let's get a slice here. Look at this, guys. Wow, it smells amazing. Mmm, wow. You have this kind of like fusion between the two amazing sauces, like the tomato sauce and the hoisin sauce. And the duck breast is really, really tender and juicy. And you know, with these Asian ingredients, the scallion, the sesame seed, wow, it makes like this slice of pizza really, really amazing. 
you guys cannot miss this. It's absolutely delicious and amazing. Another day, another picnic at the park. And today we are going to discuss about this restaurant called Snitz. They produce a food called Snitzel, basically. Ta-da! Well, to those of you who are wondering what Snitzel is, it's basically, it's like a, um, a protein fillet coated in crumb. It could be like chicken, usually chicken breast, uh, but you can also do like a pork fill, you can do beef schnitzel as well. Uh, coated in this crumb and the crumb can be um, a mix of like herb and cheese and spicy crumbs. And then yeah, they just deep fried it. Um, but in case of the snitz, they actually pan fried it. So it's sort of like healthier version of snitz and usually served with like a chips um, or also salad. So what I've got here guys is a uh, chicken parma basically, uh, but with parma usually you top it with like a tomato sauce and also cheese and they kind of like broil uh, the top part of the um, the parma itself to make it like a really uh, nice texture here and the chips from Snitz is also in my opinion is one of the best but right now it's a bit soggy because we take it outside and it's a bit windy now mm. but the flavor is still there you know you just need maybe like put it in the oven for five ten minutes to make it a little bit more crispier mmm mmm I order with the spicy crumb guys and it's really have this um, it nice kick, you know, it's not too spicy and the chicken breast is really tender and juicy and it's not overcooked at all. I don't know if you can see this, it's perfectly cooked. Wow, the flavor is absolutely amazing. It's really well balanced, it's really crispy and I can't really fault this. It's probably like one of the best schnitzel here in Australia. Alright, another variant of the schnitzel from Snitz. You can also get it with the roll or like a burger bun almost, or also with a wrap. So for today, I chose the one with the roll. Look at this. I can't wait to take a bite of this amazing schnitzel roll. Wow. That is so good. See the schnitzel? Mm. Really good. It's very well seasoned, guys. Wow. Probably this is, I think, my favorite uh, fast food chain in Australia. Mm. They really nail the sticks now. So juicy, so good. And don't forget to pair your snitz or parma with beer or ale. Okay guys, that's the end of our fast food series. And also, that's the end of our Australian food series. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this series and if you do, don't forget to click that subscribe button and also click on that notification bell because when we publish a new video, you always get notified of our latest video and it will also help our channel to grow. Until then, stay foolish, stay hungry, see you in another series, bye!